Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio. And today I'd like to share with you how to create an animated title card in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve, we're now on the edit page and we're gonna start by bringing a new Fusion composition in our timeline and we're gonna go over to Fusion. The first thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna bring here a new background in our working area and link the output of that background to the media out. Right now, I'm just gonna change the color from black to white. Now I'm gonna select my background, add a rectangle mask on it. We're gonna put the width value and the height value to the maximum, so it fill up completely the frame. And right now we're gonna keyframe the position and the width and height to create the animation of our card. So I'm gonna go at frame 15 when I want my animation to end, and I'm gonna drop a keyframe on the position. Then I'm gonna go to frame zero, and I'm gonna bring the Y position to 1.5, which essentially just bring that background out of frame. And now if we play it, we have the background coming into frame. But it's a linear animation, we're just gonna smooth those curve by going over to the spline editor. Here we're gonna select the rectangle, select all all point, hit the letter S on our keyboard to smooth that. And now we already have something that looks a bit better. Now we're gonna keyframe the width, the height and the corner radius to reduce that background and to create a card. So I'm gonna drop a keyframe on the width, a keyframe on the height and a keyframe on the corner radius at frame 15. Then we're gonna go at frame 30 and here we're just gonna change the value of the width at 0.85 and the height at 0.75. The idea is to have even border on each side and because we're working with a rectangle and not a square, those values are slightly off. And the next value that I'm gonna change is the corner radius because I want rounded corner. So here I'm just gonna increase that until I'm happy about that, I think it's nice. Now that we have all card, we're just gonna add some text. So here I'm just gonna bring a text node in my working area, link the output of that text to the background to merge it. We're gonna rename the first text part one and change the font for popping and switch the color to black. I'm gonna increase the size and position it as a lower third in the card. But you can also center it if you want. Right now, because I'm gonna put it on the left side, I'm just gonna anchor it to the left side. So if I were to add text, it will not mess up with the position. Now let's add a second text, link it to the merge. And here we're gonna add our second line, for example, going to space. I'm gonna switch the font again for pop-in. But this time, instead of bold, we're gonna switch for medium. And I'm gonna change the color again to black. I'm gonna adjust the size and position. So here I'm gonna anchor it to the left and I'm then gonna move this around, try to align it with the first line and just give it a bit of space in between the two. Right now the position and size are not very good because here we don't have the same amount of space between this side and this side. And here we don't have a very good hierarchy in terms of size between the two. So we're gonna modify that right now. I'm gonna start with text two and I'm gonna adjust the position to give it some space here to breathe and having the same amount of space on the left side and on the bottom side. I'm also gonna reduce the size a little bit. And then here I'm gonna select my text too and I'm gonna adjust the position as well. Here I think it's a bit too big, so I'm just gonna reduce the size as well. And I'm happy with this. Now we're just gonna do a simple text animation with a mask. So I'm gonna select my first text and click the rectangle mask. We're then just gonna adjust the position of that mask, expand it. Here just being right on the edges of the text. I'm then gonna just do the same process here for the text too. Bring a mask, adjust it right on the edges. Be careful not to cut, for example, here the P and the G, right? So give that enough space. And now we're gonna keyframe the position of the text. So here we're just gonna go text one to the layout and we're gonna draw a keyframe on the position. Then I'm gonna go to frame 15. And here on the position again, I'm just gonna drag the text outside of the mask. And we have our first text animation, but here, as you can see, we have a hard line. I would like to soften that. So it just took a bit nicer in my opinion. So here, I'm just gonna go where the text starts to get out just to see what I'm doing. And with still the text one selected, I'm gonna go back to text. And here, I'm just gonna go to the mask and we're gonna adjust the soft edge. So here, if I increase the soft edge, as you can see, we have soft edge and not hard edge anymore. Be fairly careful with this, just don't bring it too high, but here I would like to increase a little bit, like maybe 0.05, just to make it a bit softer. Now let's repeat the same process with text two. I'm gonna go to frame 32 this time, because I want a tiny bit of delay between the first text and the second text. I'm gonna go to layout and I'm gonna drop a keyframe on the position, and then I'm gonna go to frame 17, again, because we want to have two frame of delay between the two. 
and I'm gonna drag my text outside of the mask. I'm then gonna repeat the same process here for the soft edges. So I'm gonna go to the mask and here in the soft edges, I'm gonna go with 0.05. Now, one last animation that I would like is that here, when the card is reducing, I would like the opacity to drop as well, so we can see a bit the background footage that I could have after. So I'm gonna go back to frame 15, select my rectangle right here, drop a keyframe on the level, and then go to frame 30. And here, we're just gonna drop the level a tiny bit, not too much, so we can still see what's going on. So here, I'm gonna go with 0.9, I think. So now if we play it, we have all the animation in place, but it doesn't look very good because it's a linear animation. So here I'm gonna go back to my spline editor, select zoom to fit, and then here in my rectangle one, I'm just gonna unselect the center because that's what we already smoothed out. And I'm gonna select all the other points and hit S on our keyboard to smooth out all those points. And now perfect, we got our final title card animation. We can go back to the edit page and here I could drop some footage behind it. So you don't want to put the footage right at the beginning of the composition, just move a couple frames forward until it's completely messed out, so right here, and then you can just bring the footage right at that moment. So now you will have a clean transition between, for example, you that is talking before, and then the title card coming in, and then like a piece of footage that can illustrate what your title card is about, for example. And if you don't want to use footage, you could just go to Generator and bring a noise gradient instead. Let's just create your own background with the color of your channel, for example. Here, same thing, just come where the animation is done. When it's completely masked and just bring it there. Then here you could select a pre-animated background, change the color to your branding. And here you go, you got a title card with a pre-animated background. I hope this video was helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe, let us know in the comments what kind of video you would like to see next, and see you in the next one, bye! Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.